Inflation continues to beat down the wallets of many American families, so much so that people are using food banks and food donations for the first time. Our Lauren Harkson spoke with a nonprofit in our area feeding more people now than ever before. Lauren? Steve, I'm told Grace Klein Community is handing out between 25 and 50 percent more food boxes now than at the end of 2021. Since the end of the year last year, through the drive through we were maybe giving out between 120 and 130 boxes a day was kind of our average. Um, in the last few months, our average has been more between 150 and 180 boxes of food a day. And each one of those boxes normally feeding a family of four. The money has to be reshuffled from somewhere, and that's tough for a lot of families. Wendy Williams is a drive through assistant with Grace Klein Community. She says the huge rise in everyday costs, including groceries, is causing many people's wallets to be stretched thin. And it's really hard when you're on a fixed income because a lot of people were barely making ends meet and now you pay twice as much for a carton of eggs as you paid six months ago. And the inflation money struggle is on top of the pandemic money struggle. Pre-COVID, we were feeding as a Grace Pond community about 10,000 people a month. Now we are feeding more like 11,000 or so people a week. William says they don't only give food to those who struggle long term, it's for anyone in a pinch. Your water heater breaks this month and you have this unexpected expense that you have to pay for and now the bank account is empty and you don't have money for groceries. You know, you can come to us for a day or a week or a month to help get the food that you need to feed your family. Now within the last three days, I'm told they gave out over 480 boxes of food. Grace Klein Community hands them out from 1 to 4 p.m. between Monday and Thursday every single week. Steve, Catherine.